Delicious. Oh, um, I didn't see you there. We finished the break. So we do the show next. Mm, mm, mm. Welcome back to the show. I'll take that later. Welcome back to the show. Uh, we are here at the exercise number two on page number seventeen. So we're gonna do it quick so we can move on to uh other exercises that are waiting upon us. So, um, B. Fifth floor apartment in modern blah 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 close to all amenities. So. GCH and blah 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 TV. Okay, so if you don't know the answer yet, you can do the um uh you can do the next uh blanks. So you can fill in, can choose the word, then you can see the last word that's still remaining in the box. It will be the answer to that remaining space. Okay, so you you don't know number three. Do it later. Number four, like I've said before, what is TV? It is a TV television, but there's also one word that also fit to the TV interactive TV. No, it is correct, but there are no the word. There are no. There aren't any words that are called that is called uh, interactive here. But it is cable TV, dream honey gap. Okay, cable TV, phone, phone, internet. All right, do that later. Number three will be done later. C. Uh, quaint and attractive property, full of blah blah blah. Three bedrooms and two reception rooms. Quiet. Village location, but good bus service nearest to the nearest town. GCH available from early October, two hundred fifty pound per week. No children or blah blah blah. Okay, so uh, guess the word. Which word will be filled in for our number five? Mm. Um, full of what? Full of nuts? No. Let's see what are the remaining words. Uh, we haven't used the word block. Full of block? No. Full of buildings inside a house? No. Full of character? Ha! Huh. What does character mean? Character? Young buck? No. This word, this black, the character here doesn't mean about young buck. But it means like every. Like a lot of objects that are placed in the building, in the uh, property in, in the house, so you can it can be used, it can be uh, played or anything else. It can be used for fun, for things, for work, for your entertaining or something like that. So word character, it is correct. Put it in character, not. Garden or any blocks to be placed in the house. What the hell? Where's that hell? Leave me there. Caress. Number six. No children or blah blah blah. No children or detached. Oh, we use the word detached already. No children or garden. Oh, a little bit of selfish, selfishing. <laughs> no children or garden nonsense. No children, no children or lease. No, open plan. Nonsenser than ever. Then the word pets. No children or pets. So pets and children are not allowed in this uh building, in this uh room. So sad. Can bring, cannot bring children. Can bring a child. So children are allowed. Child is okay. So, hmm. Number seven. Stunning. Stunning what? Stunning. Blah blah blah. Floor apartment with views of the river. Two bedrooms and 
blah 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 living room, dining room, kitchen, contemporary design, rent includes sat TV and internet. Yeah, central heating available immediately, unfurnished. Um, one thousand six hundred pound PCM. Okay, like I've said, there are some of the words that you did you didn't know that are still in the the abbreviation for something. I'll be going to that part later. All right. So, stunning what? We still remain the word stunning, stunning block, stunning block for no nonsense. Block and then the floor. No, stunning garden. Woo! Stunning garden. Stunning garden floor apartment with views of a river. Perfect. Oh, I would place. I would live there. Start now. 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 Another nonsense word. <laughs> stunning garden. No, that's not it. Let's see. Stunning leaves? No. Stunning top. Top floor. Top floor means the floor is at the top of the building. So, not stunning garden. So not stunning garden floor. Garden is the garden. There is no garden floor. I misread it. Sorry about that. So, it must be stunning top floor apartments. Top floor. Sang thong, okay. Top floor, tầng cao nhất. Top floor apartment. Let's go for number eight. Uh, two bedrooms and blah 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 living room, dining room and kitchen. So what's the remaining word? Block. Start, uh, two bedrooms and block living room. What a what a bull crap here. Eh? Um, lease two bedrooms and lease living no. That's not it. Open plan. Stunning. Ah, uh, two bedrooms and open plan living room. Oh, very wide space. It is the word. Open plan. The next. Ah. Uh, Number nine, comfortable two bedroom apartment with shared what? Shared what? Shared block? No, cannot share block together. Even though we pay for each block we live, we cannot share it. Sharing is up to you, but the owner doesn't want you to share. It's just an information. So garden, shared garden. Yes, that makes sense. So the two relatives go out together with the shared garden. Old play and eat, walk and work, and then nights out, do everything you want. <laughs> Nobody watches you. So nine. Garden. Ten. It is the last word. Ah, uh, available furnished or unfurnished with for men twelve month blah blah blah. Twelve month what? Twelve month block. So the block only ah uh, can it can only be used for twelve months? No. So it must be the word. Twelve months lease. So twelve month lease. So that is the word. Twelve months lease. And so you can see that the blank number three, the blank number three, the word will be block. Yes, it is the word block, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, what a you can see how things work. You don't know this uh, blank. You can do the next blank. Then you will find out what the answer is for that blank. Okay. So we're gonna be back with the next part of the show. We're gonna do the exercise number four about abbreviations. Tune in.